Yes, this year's Super Bowl promises to be a classic with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Kansas City Chiefs in just a couple of hours' time. Fewer than 25,000 spectators will actually be attending the game and there will be less razzmatazz on display. Traditionally, advertising space for the Super Bowl sells out quickly and costs a premium. However, this year, advertising has been much harder to shift. Now, this is the scene in Tampa now where fans are arriving at the stadium. I mean, obviously, far, far fewer than normal. Let's get more on why advertising has been slow to sell. Professor Derek Rucker is from the uh, Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University, and he joins us uh, from Evanston in Illinois. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, uh, Derek Rucker. Um, why has it been so difficult to shift this advertising this year? Oh, well, thanks for having me. And, you know, I think it was a week ago we heard that the advertising was virtually sold out, which is almost unheard of to have inventory for so long. But if you look at what's facing everyone right now in terms of a pandemic, social justice movements, as well as a lot of politic politics here in the States, there's a lot to be uneasy as an advertiser. So you have to think about what you're trying to say and then what it might be interpreted as in light of everything. So advertisers were a little gun shy this time, and I think rightfully so. This is a, there's a year to be worried or cautious. This is the year. What are we likely to see in terms of tone in the adverts that do appear? It's a great question. Uh, we've got some sneak previews, and so we know a bit of what's coming. It seems a lot of brands are trying to play it pretty safe. So fun humor, not too much discussion of the pandemic going around. We've seen almost no masks in any ads, so almost kind of no acknowledgement there. I'll be curious to see if we see someone sneak in there that kind of hits the situation we're facing head on. But so far, it seems like we're going to see a particularly safe year by brands who chose to enter. How much has the cost of advertising dropped given that demand isn't what it normally is? You know, we were hearing numbers where the actual cost was pretty steady, somewhere around 5.4 uh, or 5.5 million. So there's still a big asking price. And I think what you see that asking price is about the number of people watching. And I think what the network is hoping and what brands are banking on is that with not a lot to do, hopefully there'll be more eyeballs. So slow to sell inventory, but still a very high price tag. I suppose at some companies, if they've been laying off staff, they've got to worry about what that looks like if they're spending a fortune on an ad. Absolutely. It's a great question. And it's something that people don't realize that when you enter the Super Bowl with an ad, it is a huge signaling value. So any brands that might be struggling, or as you said, were to lay off staff, now is not the time. Too much um, backlash. In contrast, think of a brand that's coming for the very first time, what we call a rookie advertiser, DoorDash. Food business is booming for DoorDash, which is a home delivery service for food. So for the right brands, you can get the, this can be a great a place to tell your message, but you're right. If a brand does that and then lays off people the next day, that's not going to look good. The converse is true, I suppose. If you're doing really well already, why do you need to advertise? You might not cope. So this is a this is the about uh, classic in marketing. You think of when you say, "What's a Super Bowl ad supposed to do?" And people sometimes think, "I'm supposed to buy the product." And to your point, well, if you're already selling, why do I need to advertise? What we're often trying to do is sustain momentum and create a long-term connection with consumers. So often it's not the right here and now play, it's the long-term horizon. And for growing brands like DoorDash, which is again a home delivery service, you want to be at the forefront of consumers' minds. This is an opportunity to get ahead of the competition. It's so complicated this year. Professor Derek Rucker from um, Northwestern University, thanks for unpicking it for us.